Welcome back. Today we're going to do a simple iguana drawing that allows for a lot of opportunity to change and make your drawing unique and special to you. I'm only going to do the drawing today. When you're finished, you can color it with whatever supplies you have at home. I've done these iguanas in class with everything from crayons to colored pencils to watercolor to oil pastels. We've even done them with chalk. They're really fun and are so bright and colorful when they're all finished. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil or something to draw with. So pencil is the best choice because there might be a lot of erasing. We're going to start with the branch that the iguana is sitting on. So you want to start by just very lightly drawing two lines across. Now remember it's a branch. Branches are not really very straight. So make it kind of wobbly. Don't make it super neat. Now you'll notice I drew that really, really light. It might even be a little hard to see. I might need to adjust, there we go, my camera a little. I drew it really light because I know I'm going to be erasing part of it later. If you take a look at my finished picture, the iguana's feet and tail both come in front of my branch. So part of my branch is going to get erased when I draw the feet and the tail. And if I draw lightly, it'll be easier for me to erase. Now we're going to make the body very simple to start. We're going to start with just an arrow for the head. And then two lines, nice and light, for the body. Take the top line and wrap it down to make the tail then follow with the other part now here's our first two lines we need to erase so go ahead and erase those two little bits of your branch that are going through your tail because as cool as it would be we are not drawing an invisible iguana or a transparent one. If it was transparent, we'd probably still see its bones and things, so we still wouldn't see the branch all the way like that. Okay, next we can put the feet where they're gonna go. Just one curve here, and you wanna make sure it goes into the body and the branch. Then erase those little extra lines. And I Another back here, erase those extra little lines, now this is where we usually stop in class, very basic simple shapes. Next is the part where you get to decide what the rest looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add my back legs just by drawing some lines there. Then I'm gonna think about my shape. What parts of it I like, what parts of it I don't like. And I'm going to adjust it. I think that I want this iguana to be a little bigger. He looks kinda skinny, kinda scrawny. I wanna puff him up a little bit. I'm gonna make him a little round right here. And you'll notice I left my original line. I wanna get my new line drawn before I erase my old line just in case I don't like the new one. Okay, I'm much, I like that bottom a lot better but I think I need to do some changes up here too. I kind of like how this comes up and then slants but I'm going to make it go a little higher and kind of flatten and then come back up again. Just changing his shape just a little to make him a little more interesting.
and then I'm making my lines a little darker once I'm happy with them. Next I'm going to take a look at his tail. Since I've added a little bump here, I think I need to smooth his tail out a little, make it a little bigger at the top. I like that. Now, I think I'm going to leave the end like this. I kind of like that he's kind of big but has this cinched off tail. Kind of makes me think about the lizards whose tails come off and regrow again so that predators can't catch them. Now I've got to decide what I'm going to do with these feet. Iguanas have light, slightly larger back feet, so I'm going to add a little bit of a foot shape here. And then add some claws to the front so that he could be gripping that. Now I can decorate. I'm going to give him a little mouth and a little hole for where his nose would be. You can make whatever kind of eye you want. Some iguanas have these like domed eyes that kind of bug out a little bit. You could do an eye like that. I like to keep mine kind of simple and cartoony, so I'm just going to draw a circle with another one inside, and I'll color it in later. I don't need to color it with my pencil. Maybe he's got a pattern on his belly that's a little different. I think this guy might have some spikes all the way down I could even decorate inside his body maybe he's got some wiggly stripes they kind of replicate his spikes I'm gonna put some stripes on his legs too there we go now once you are happy with the way your iguana looks, you can add some details to the background. Maybe there's some leaves poking out around this little guy. Or maybe it's sunset. There's a lot of different things you could do. To fill it in and make it interesting. Then you can get out whatever coloring supplies you have and have fun with the color. I kept this one very simple, but I made this one today really different and wild. I hope you have fun, and remember, if you're doing this for a grade, make sure you submit a picture through your assignment link on Canvas. Have a great Gator Day.